From LA Late News Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Mornings LA Late. It's a big morning of Mornings LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. In this recording, we go over the incredible news of that recon, the fourth stimulus recon, now in the Senate. And Chuck Schumer saying the vote and the bill will become a law by Christmas. Oh my goodness. I have the latest breaking news on this today. We'll go over the Senate changes that will be robust and very few items be removed. We'll go over the incredible recon that'll pay you a lot of money, upwards of at least $15,000. The single biggest payout you've ever seen in the history of this channel and ever since recons started. It's a lot of money, at least $15,000. I'll show you how to get these massive sums of money in this forced stimulus recon. But you got bills to be paid and those bills to be paid today. Well, don't worry because we're going to get those bills paid today with third stimulus. Viewers are getting on average $5,000 this week after they got to $45,000 earlier this year. I'm going to show you how to get those sums of money. Student loan tax forgiveness, the latest details on that. Fifth stimulus, we're going to go over the breaking details on that. Plus, we're going to go over the latest details that are coming in about Omicron. It's breaking news and it's great news out of what we're learning now with the variant and also the booster shot. The latest breaking news about Omicron. Then we'll be turning to the big news about what the debt ceiling, what the Federal Reserve is going to do on December 15th. It's huge. As the toast is toasting, the butter is butter and the cough is brewing and the bacon is bacon. Plus, you'll have my commentary about the situation across the board. And you'll look at a new show coming to this channel in just a few days after two shows debuted last night. And if you missed one of them, I have an encore of that show that happened as well. We got a big recording with the incredible details of getting this recon done, as Schumer says, by Chris. Christmas. Those details are more as we go into a big morning's broadcast. It's live. It's here in Santa Monica, California. And the excitement starts right here, right now, as a big morning gets underway. And here we go, live from Santa Monica, California, with your horse to check. Hey, good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Here we go. That recon has landed in the Senate. The Senate represents it's going to be passed and become a law by Christmas. All the latest details on that job ranking announcement by Leader Schumer. Those Senate changes will be robust and very few items will be removed. We'll go over what's going on with that bird bath. Uh, get ready to get some soap and the uh, and the rubber ducky. <laughs> we'll go over the incredible programs in this recon that'll pay you a lot of money. This is the single biggest payout we've ever seen in the history of this channel. Yes, you're going to get at least $15,000, but you're going to see very quickly it may be upwards of 60000 We're going to go over how to get your bills paid today and how viewers constantly this week have gotten on average $5,000. It's your day to get this money as well if you just found this channel. Student loan debt forgiveness, the latest on that, and then we'll turn to fifth stimulus, plus the great news about Omicron that came in today. The latest details of what's going on with the Federal Reserve later this, this month. It's on December 15th. Those breaking details, plus a new show coming on this channel. And the two shows that debuted last night, boy, we got a big broadcast with this day. And with that, I want you to become part of this incredible family. So go under the video right now and subscribe. Hit that subscribe button right now. I want you to follow this incredible family. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes. And consider becoming a member to the number three most watched financial news channel in America, LA Light. Get that incredible newsletter that goes out tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time that features the big money for you to get in this recon. And then sign up for those LA alerts, which is totally free. The link is under the video's description. And with that, let's go into this big money that starts with this four stimulus recon right now. It has a lot of money. It's going to be the biggest, pay, biggest payout you've ever seen in the history of the channel, at least $15,000. Get that pen paper ready. We're going to go into the first cluster of checks starting right now. They got in there, hazard pay for one more year, the earned income tax credit. $4,000 to care for young children for one more year. $4,000 to care for young adults as well. They got the CTC, the $3,600 approximately for the young children in there for one more year. They got the home repairs if you live in a low-income community in there as well. The $550 check for the Pell's grant got, Pell Grant got that in there additionally. 
And finally, they got $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. Wow, it's incredible. And that is the first of three clusters and three add-ons. Let's go to the first add-on, which comes from Southern California here and the wonderful Maxine Waters. She got it in there. And it is money to buy your first home. Yes, during the time of purchasing of a first-time home purchase, you will get money from the federal government. And she got it in there. She wanted $25,000. It will be a little bit less. How do you get these incredible sums of money? It's coming up late in this video. Stay with me. We have a lot coming up later in this video. Now, the second cluster checks has a lot in there as well. They got in there home repairs, paid leave, universal pre-kindergarten, the extension of the household tax credit, and also the child care programs as well. When we talk about the weatherizing your home, what are you weatherizing against? You're weatherizing against when Mitch McConnell calls in and has Blaine 66 answer the phone. What? <laughs> <laughs> Those details are coming up later in this video. Let's go to the second add-on, which comes to the illustrious Bob Casey out of Pennsylvania. He got it in there. And what is this free home health care for my seniors and people on disabilities? They went $250 billion. They got a little bit less, but it is still wonderful. How do you get this money? This is for my seniors and people on disabilities. Uh, it's actually this graphic, 250 And how do you get it? It's coming up a later in this video. Let's go to the third cluster of checks, and here we go. This is the cluster we call deliciousness. They got money in there for seniors and free internet. What's in there? Cheaper prescription medication, immigration reform, tax breaks, free school meals for all checks. They got money for the workers, independent contractors. They got the free internet, the farmers, and also the money for the seniors with the Medicare expansion. Two provisions entered in there from the House, which are the Medicare expansion for hearing and the Medicaid gap fix. The Senate just vowed to add three other provisions, which are dental, vision, and the lowering the eligibility age of Medicare, which is par for the course of what we're doing when we're looking at House versus Senate right now, because the House added some provisions and the Senate just vowed to add a lot of other provisions. And among them are a potential monthly IRS stimulus check, the acronym on this channel, MSC. In the month of May, viewers of this channel started picking up the phone and advocating to six senators to put at least one or more MSCs in there. And since the month of May, six senators have told viewers of this channel, thousands of channel viewers, that it's going in there. But two weeks ago, when the legislation landed in the Senate, I said to pick up the phone and re-advocate, because now the ball is in their court. And boy, have you done well. And in the last six days, those six senators have retold the viewers again of this channel that at least one or more of those IRS stimulus checks are going in there. And that's why it's important for you to advocate. Who are the six senators you need to advocate to today? They are Casey, Coons, Warren, Wyden, Sanders, and Schumer. When we talk about IRS MSC. What does that mean? It means that you would get a check for the same eligibility as a third is what these legislators represent. Single individual, 75000 or less, got it. Married couple, 150000 or less, got it, doubled it. Family of four, they got it, quadrupled it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security Aware of Benefits, they got it as well. It's not income. It's not taxable. It's the same across the United States, across the board. And what's important for you to do is advocate for its inclusion. What did we see in the last six days? Viewers just do an incredible job. It started with Janet picking up the phone and calling to Leader Schumer's office the Wednesday before Thanksgiving and being told it's going in there via Bernie Sanders. Then Lynn Glenn the following Tuesday speaking to Chris Coons' office and being told it's going in there. Then the wonderful Bonnie picking up the phone on Wednesday speaking to Liz Warren's office and being told it's going in there. Then Tyrell speaking to... Uh, Bob Casey's office last Friday and being told it's going in there. And this week, Donnie and his wife Sharon picking up the phone and speaking to Ron Wyden's office and being told it's going in there. So it's important for you to advocate across the board, pick up the phone and tell your story. Remember, don't use the words MSC, just use simple words across the board. Advocate for its inclusion by using the telephone and speaking to a staffer. And the next best is also expressing it via voicemail. The number one legislator, the recon, his chief of staff, says this channel has delivered the most advocacy in the United States. We have. 
we've been doing this since May, so we're far out in excess of five million. This is the biggest place of advocacy in the United States, my friends. And what does the chief of staff say? Pick up the phone and advocate to the finish line. They now have a total between congressional and senators' offices receive more advocacies than the LA Purple Power than the number of signatures in the American petition. Everyone has a better understanding of what Americans are going through because of the pandemic. They have heartbreaking stories from the LA viewers, and they have the voice of the reason in you, LA, as you have become too loud to be ignored. Please continue your encouragement for the continued advocacy as a professional voice of the people you have become until this becomes law. Contact Casey, Coons, Warren, Wyden, Sanders, and Schumer. Now, what's important for you to know is you need to also advocate for your wallet, and that involves getting your bills paid today. You have bills to pay, and those bills need to be paid today. Well, guess what? You have done really well, and if you just found this channel, I'm going to show you today how to do this as well. Viewers in the last two weeks have heard my messaging and have gotten, on average, $5,000 a viewer from third stimulus to pay their bills today. It's the holiday season, you need bills paid, and I'm gonna show you in the second half of this video how you can get five, $6,000 on average in the next 24 hours to get your bills paid. We're gonna to go to student loan debt forgiveness, the latest on that. We'll be turning to fist stimulus and that cola raise and your questions answered live on air. We'll be turning to the latest breaking details about Omicron and the vaccines and the booster shot. It's brand new, it happened just minutes ago. We'll be turning back into these incredible programs in for stimulus that'll pay you a lot, upwards of $15,000 if not more, the biggest payday you ever see in the history of this channel. And we'll go over the latest comments from Leader Schumer and my analysis of the situation. As he says, the recon will become a law by December 15th. Meantime, we'll take a look at a new show coming to this channel. And we'll look back at the two shows that debuted last night. If you didn't catch it, I have an encore of what happened. Are those details and more coming up in the second half. Stay with me as Morning's Ally continues live on air from Santa Monica, California. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now as we go into a big second half of LA's. Wow, it's a big day across the board. And the second half, we're going to go over this incredible recon that pays you a lot of money out the door. The incredible student loan debt forgiveness, we're going to cover that and that coming by executive order. We're going to go with that fifth stimulus and also the color raise. But we're going to cut back to the big exciting details about that recon now in the Senate and the vowing of Leader Schumer to pass it by Christmas, the changes that that will come and the big checks that will be coming as well. Those details coming up right now, but I first, I want you to subscribe. Go right on this video right now and hit that subscribe button. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes and consider becoming a member, Purple Hawk, Purple Power or Calcino VIP. Meantime, in the second half, we're going to go over the latest breaking details about Omicron and the breaking details about what is going on with that massive Federal Reserve meeting on December 15th. It impacts you across the board. And with that, let's go over all the incredible details starting right now as we start the big second half. Leader Schumer addressed the nation in a series of correspondences and memos and uh, responses this week. And it's all about 
getting the recon done by December 15th. First, let's go over the timeline. Leader Schumer says that he believes that the recon will become a law out of the Senate and become a law, actually, by Christmas. Do I think it's going to happen? No. I don't think you can get it done by December 24th. Now, in 2020, we saw second stimulus legislators working on the Saturday and Sunday after Christmas. I think that is possible. Maybe they work the Saturday or Sunday, but it's certainly possible to get it done the following Monday or Tuesday, the 27th, the 28th. I don't think it's going to become a law by the 24th. I don't think it's possible. Let me show you why. Because he needs a floor vote on the Senate. That's first. Then he needs a two-day voter rom in the Senate. That's two. That's three days. Then there's going to be changes, so it's going to have to go back to the House. The House at least needs at least one day. That's four days. But sometimes the House needs two days to vote. That's five days. He wants his vote to start the week of Christmas, which is not this week, not next week, but the week after. Five days, that brings you to Saturday, Sunday. So there's no way you can get this done by the middle of the week, by middle Christmas. So I don't think that's going to happen. No worries across the board. I do think the Green Gown's going to happen. Now, there's a series of new quotes coming out today, and one of the quotes is very fascinating. It's from Tim Kaine, Senator, who talks about timelines. You're going to see later in this video how some of the provisions of this fourth stimulus recon are repeated provisions from third stimulus, and they don't want them to lapse, meaning to end. When do they end? January 15th. Now, it doesn't mean you can vote on them January 14th. According to Tim Kaine, you have to do them substantially in advance, which is mid to late December, to ensure they don't lapse. And so he thinks that's why they're going to get this done by mid to late December. What are the reactions of the, to, the, to the Chuck Schumer quotes? Well, the reaction by Democratic leaders are the following two to three quotes. The first group basically say, I like it. Just call the vote because we never know what's going on until we see the reaction. They don't know if they have all the Democratic votes to pass it, or they do. And they say the only way to do it is call the vote. I agree with them. The second group says, what are we doing here? What if it fails? I mean, we don't have enough Democratic votes, and we go home with nothing? So there's that group. And then there's the third group, the Bernie, the Liz Warren, the Ron Wyden. They haven't really said much of anything. I'll explain to you later in the final minutes of this, my commentary. Stay in the final five minutes. It's a big final five minutes of this video. I'll explain in my commentary how this all comes together. So let's go over these incredible quotes and what happened with Leader Schumer. So Leader Schumer issued that statement, and here is the letter by Leader Schumer. Well, what happened right after that was the quotes came in yesterday, and they came in continuing today from Miguel, excuse me, from Maisie Hirono, who is the Democratic uh, senator out of Hawaii. And what did she say? She basically is in the first group. Here is the first group of comments, which is, let's just call the vote. Better not to call the vote than call it. Maisie Hirono from Hawaii says, it's better just put out the vote and see where people stand. I Meaning she wants to see if there's a yes or no. Then we have a Senate, then we have a majority whip, Dick, Dur Dick Durbin, who says the same thing. My experience in this business is just to call the vote to see where people are. We have majority leaders, Chuck Schumer, saying our goal is to get the Senate to pass the legislation before Christmas and to get it to the president's desk before Christmas. Then we have some of the reaction, which is, what happens if it fails? <laughs> That's actually the quote from Senator John Tester from Montana. We walk around and say we tried. Uh, that doesn't really sell it. And then we have Tim Kaine says, we must sufficiently in advance get this done far in advance before January 15th. We'll go over more about this in my commentary in the final five minutes. Stay with me. It's a very critical part of this recording. It is the most critical, the final five minutes of this video. But let's go into these incredible recon provisions starting right now. You are going to clean up in this fourth stimulus recon. It's the biggest payday you've ever had from this channel. It dwarfs anything you've gotten from first, second, or third. It's a monstrous payday, and it's at least $15,000. We're going to start with the first item of checks right out the door. The first item are the paid leave. $1,700 a week if you make $70,000 or more per year, approximately. $35,000 on annual salary, about $800 a week. For $15,000 on salary, about $400 a week. How many weeks? About four weeks per year. Yeah, it's $6,000 on the high end. Now, if you don't work, don't worry if you live with your son and daughter and they have to take off from work to take you to the doctor once per week because they'll get the check on behalf of the household. It's incredible great news. The next provision is the salt cap. Currently, $10,000 of what you can deduct and stay in local taxes on the federal tax return. Now you'll be able to deduct $72,500. Of all the provisions passed by the House, they're all staying in there. Yes, this is great news. But the only ones that we really see in jeopardy being removed by the Senate parliamentarian, who is that? It's coming up later in this video. Are these two provisions I just went over and the immigration reform. 
Now, what comes after those provisions that we, those two, they also got in there, 40 billion in free job training, which is great because millions of Americans want to take a higher paying job. A new economic data number came out this morning that showed there was the biggest job creations since July, but a lot of people aren't still taking the jobs. Then one of the best provisions, Recon, is, for, is cheaper medical insurance. I get this question all the time from viewers on social media. There were 12 Republican states that vowed never to pay for Obamacare. So now the Democrats got a workaround plan in this recon. They'll provide years of, years of subsidized private insurance to low-income uninsured people in those states. Wow, that's incredible. And then we get to the best provision of the recon. You know what it is. It's housing. $150 billion of it for six programs, three that are brand new, which are home repairs paid, which are home repairs, weatherize your home, and first-time home purchases. How do you get that? Stay with me. I'm going to go over them in a second. But the other three provisions are a repeat from third stimulus, rent, utilities, and mortgage assistance. And the great news is that you do not have to wait for four stimulus to become a law around Christmas. You can get your bills paid today, this very day from third stimulus. Third stimulus is still on the books and it has paid viewers a lot of money. Let's back up to show you the history of what's at hand. What I do really well and what you do really well is get prepared ahead of time. Back in December 2020, I had an exclusive detail insight as to what was going to be in a new body of legislation called Third Stimulus. And I showed you what was in there. I said, I think it can get you $15,000 on average. Yeah, there's a $1,400 stimulus check, but I said, don't focus on the $1,400 stimulus check. Focus on the $15,000. When it became law in spring of 2021 this year, I said, yeah, I can get you about $15,000. Don't focus on the $1,400. You didn't focus on the $1,400 because you did get it. It's very simple. You didn't focus on. You focused on the $15,000. The average view of this channel got $45,000 from third stimulus earlier this year. Now, if you were never a viewer of this channel earlier this year, or you did get that money, you didn't know something else. And two weeks ago, I brought third stimulus on this channel back on to show you this thing you didn't know. You didn't know you could still get third stimulus. First, people who got third stimulus early this year from this channel didn't know they can get another round. Two, people who had just found this channel recent months didn't know they could still get third stimulus if there was still money available. And what has happened? Wow. In the last two weeks, the average view of this channel has gotten five to six thousand dollars of hard cold cash in their hands to pay their bills from third stimulus. It's incredible. And that's how you have done so well by applying the information of this channel and doing exactly what I talk about. So get that pen and paper ready right now. If you're a member of this channel, pull out the newsletter, which you get at, which you get from me Monday through Friday. And if you're not a member, pull out a pen and paper and start taking notes because we're going to go over that money right now. But first, I want to go over some success stories because they keep on coming in. If you have a success story, post in the live chat. But also, if you've been posting success stories in the live chat because there's been a lot, send me a private message because I've been missing Missing some, uh, someone posted something on on countdown this morning. I missed it again. It was very very quick. So send me the message. Uh, Amy and Liz Holt got another round of rent. Then Tonya, who was helped by Amber, got a lot of money this week. It looks like about five to six thousand dollars. Thorne Diaz in the live chat on the holidays yesterday got four more months of rent. Congratulations to Thorne. Then we had uh, Deborah getting six more months of rent. It says, thank you, Ally. Thank you back. Uh, John, Chef John Mayer, you remember him. He got an extra $2,500 a snap. Congratulations. She, he says, you are awesome. You are too. He's also working on getting the utilities. So get those utilities, John. Then we have Lynn Glenn. You know her. She got uh, more money for rent. She says, God bless you. I never stop watching. Love you, Lynn Glenn. Then we have the incredible Robin, who says, you're an angel in disguise. Thank you, Robin. She got three rounds of one utilities and three rounds for another utilities all this last week. How do you do it? I'm going to show you this video. Stay with me. D. Miller got four more months of rent. When we talk about the rent, viewers on average are getting about four to six months of rent in the last seven to 12 days. We have Madonna who got one round, then another round, then three, the third round of rent in just a few days ago. We have Kathy Chase, Kathy, uh, who says, thank you, LA, you are godsend. Thank you, Kathy. She got about $6,000 from three items this week. Viewers listening, they're getting multiple rounds. They're getting three items. You're doing really well. You're doing exactly what I'm telling you to do. May Lou, she got three items. She got about $6,000. You're the best, LA. Thank you, May Lou. Uh, Morel, love Morel. She got one, two, three rounds. There's 
Melissa Joss has got about ten thousand dollars this week. That's a lot. And then we have Scarpia who got snap. We have Jay Grant who says, "I speak for all of us. We love you to left to death, LA. Love you back, Jay Grant. He got about five thousand dollars from two items. We have Lorica who got the money for the for the lumber. And then we have Chris who truly embodies what's going on here. Chris received ten thousand dollars from Third Simos early this year. But he says, I would have never known about this other round if I wasn't watching you this week. And he was, and he got another $5,000. So get that pen and paper ready and get that newsletter in front of you. We're going to start to get that money starting right now. We're going to go right into this rent. And the rent pays a lot. It pays on average now about $40,000. Three months ago, this was the graphic at the time. And the graphic at the time was about twenty dollars to $30,000 of rent. It's gone up a lot. One viewer this week in the live chat said he got $38,000 for rent just this week. Another viewer says he got his family across all items this week. Third Simus, $138,000. The biggest payout we've ever seen in the history of this channel for one family from one recon. So where do you get these six items from? You ready to take notes? Here you go. City Hall, City House Authority. County Hall, County House Authority. State Hall and State House Authority. The keywords you say are rent assistance because of COVID, mortgage assistance because of COVID. There are three musts you must do. Number one, you must reach out to all six places. Number two, you must get multi multiple applications on file everywhere. And finally, you need to get multiple rounds. So if you got a round earlier this year, get another round today. If you got a round yesterday, get it from another organization today. Do the same thing for mortgage assistance. Utilities. Reach out to all utility companies and get that utility assistance because of COVID. Mark's brother-in-law is getting $15,000. Yes, it's gone up a lot. Snap is money for food. If you got a third someone's check, you should not be paying for your food. Pick up the phone and call and contact Department of Agriculture and get it. It went up 25% starting the month of October, and Mark's brother-in-law is getting $25,000 a year. Yeah, that's 10 years. That's a quarter million dollars he's getting because of these recordings on this channel. Nisi and Art Sullivan started the combo craze, and boy, were they an inspiration. They got three items back in May, and since then, I've told viewers, get three items or more. Mark was at two items of 32. I said, Mark, was your third? He got his third, brought him to 50,000. Now he's gotten more items. He's at over 100,000. Then it was Lorraine. She was at 105. Now she's at 120. Which brings us to the incredible story about Johnny. But before I go into Johnny's story, I want to tell you something. You and I prepare ahead of time. So back in the month of September, I showed you how to get holiday toys. In the month of October, I showed you how to get holiday meals. Last year, I showed you how to get your bills paid so you had them paid during the holidays. We've been doing how to get your bills paid during the holidays this way as well. So I'm so proud of how you follow and really get that independence by listening to the video and getting sums of money. Johnny's a true inspiration of how you do it correctly. Here's a three-part story. Part one was several weeks ago, Johnny was listening to this video with two other people who doesn't even know, and by the middle of the week, they each got three programs approved, 45,000. In three days, 45,000. The difference with Johnny is he listens to me and says, in which I say, do not stop, keep on getting multiple sums of money. What'd he do? By the end of the week, he got seven items approved. Seven items. Why do I like part one of Johnny's story? Because he had to make at least 15 phone calls. Because you're going to have 20 to 50% no's on the phone to get those seven yeses. And that's what he did. How much money did he get in five days? $80,000. That's the difference. Johnny could have stopped at 45000 He didn't. He went and continued. He got 80000 He could have stopped with half the number of phone calls. He didn't. And that is how you rock and roll. There's always someone that jumps in the live chat and says, I call one place. They said, no, what am I doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong. Johnny got no's. He may have had his very first phone call as a no, but he also had seven yeses, and he probably had seven no's. Part two of Johnny's incredible story continued the following Monday when he reached out to his family members, two of them, and said, you know what happened? They said, what? I got $8,000 last week from LA. They said, I've heard about him. What did they help you with? He said, third stimulus. They said, Johnny, I haven't heard about this. Why have I not heard about this? He says, broadcast media doesn't cover it. LLA covers it. Let me show you how to get it. By the end of the week, they each got it. They went from non-believers to believers and each got $50,000. Now, why is this important? Because the landscape of America right now is that LA is the number three most watched financial news channel. I'm number one, we're number one here for geopolitical news, which is, which is Congress and its impact on the economy. The number one and two channels, they don't cover the subject that much. And I don't cover their subjects that much. So SPACs, what's a SPAC? Something I put on my shoe? <laughs> 
is that type of shoe. I don't cover SPACs on this channel. They cover SPACs. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Means I don't cover it. Doesn't mean what I don't exist. Don't, doesn't mean they, just means they don't cover it as well. Let's turn to the third part of Johnny's incredible story. And wow, is incredible. It came in last Sunday, actually two Sundays ago. Johnny sent me a private message on Instagram, says, hey, I've been helping other people. I said, oh, really? What happened? He says, well, people kept calling it over the house, asking what I was doing, and I kept on helping more people get items from Third Stimulus, showing them the videos. And I said, wow, how many people have you helped, Johnny? He said, 32 people. I said, oh, my goodness, how much money have you gotten 32 people from Third Stimulus by watching this channel, Johnny? He said, $850,000. This can be you as well. So go right on the video right now and sign up for that LA Alert system, that me that m membership. Sign up for that membership right today to get the incredible newsletter that comes out Monday through Friday. It features the six places you reach out to, the keywords you say, the five nonprofits not featured in this video that also pay for small appliances, also made for small home repairs. It features one nonprofit that's helping with small home repairs as well. It features the money from Treasure you want to read about before making the phone call. It features all the incredible information about Third Service, and that is why viewers are doing so well. In the case of Third Service getting this money, there's really no way to do a watered-down version of it. It's exactly this way, or it's not going to work. And that is why I want you to become a member today to get these incredible sums of money, get your bills paid this holiday season, and you are going to feel that financial independence. And let's go right back into four stimulus, which we last left off at, at the housing provisions, three provisions. The first three we just went over, the next three are brand new. They are the home repairs, live in a low-income community, the weather rise in your home, that's for all types of homes, wall, uh, roof and glass. And then finally, the first time home purchase. This will be money given to the seller at the time of escrow in your name. They got in there in home health care, $150 billion of free home health care for my seniors and people on disabilities. It's incredible. And that is a covered benefit. They got $550 checks for the Pell Grant for my college students. And then they got to the $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle. This is where things get very interesting. Now, how does this work? It's an electric vehicle, U.S. auto manufacturer, U.S. union labor. If it was Senator L. Light, I'd say, I have a problem with this, Leader Schumer. You have to change the language, and I do, because the language discourages the purchase of a vehicle made in Mexico over one made in the United States, and I believe that violates U.S. trade policies. So I think they'd have to change this language. They got $65 for nutrition in there for college, for students when they're not in school. And then we get to the best provisions, Recon, which is cheaper medication. Wow. This is Medicare Part B, Medicare Part D. The most expensive medications like cancer, arthritis, and diabetes slash dramatically. $1,000 a dose for insulin? Yeah, that's going to drop to $35 a dose. Starting with 20 medications on day one, growing to 30 medications by year 2028, and they cannot increase more than the rate of inflation, or there's a penalty provision. Penalty to provision. You can't have a penalty provision. So says Pat Toomey, the GOP senator. And I agree. And so who is going to decide that? That is going to be decided, my friends, by the Senate parliamentarian. She is going to look at this recon and decide what provisions stay in there and what provisions come out. She's a non government she's a government official whose job is to look at the provisions of recon and see which violates the rules of the Senate and which don't. I agree with him. I believe that that provision about a penalty has to come out. She previously ruled that immigration reform has to go out. And then we're going to see what's going to happen with paid leave. Now, paid leave is par for the course because guess what? Joe Manchin says, you leave paid leave in there. I'm voting against the recon. So she is likely to rule on the recon either this week or next week. More about her in the final five minutes of this video. I told you it's a very important five minutes at the very end. Stay with me. Let's go back into these incredible provisions, but more importantly, this number on the graphic, 15,000. It's not 15,000. It's a lot more than 15,000. You've just seen that everything under third stimulus that has paid you 45,000 is repeated. Then we've already seen the add-ons. Then we have already been pre-warned about the new numbers coming from the Senate that, is, that add items on top of that. So it's clearly fifty to $60,000 of checks. It's a lot of money. It's the biggest payout you've ever seen in the history of the channel. And I'm going to show you how it becomes, how to get this money as soon as it becomes law. But the senators say, 
It's missing major gaps. They're still adding provisions to it. So you need to advocate across the board and make sure you advocate for items to be included, including that MSC. And that is Casey Coons, Warren Wyden, Sanders, and Schumer. They need to hear from you to make sure they get all their provisions in there that they want to put in there and all the provisions you want to put in there as well. And with that, let's pull out our notes and go back into the other items that are in there from the House that are going to be passed by the Senate. First, these are new provisions. They got in there the pre-kindergarten, three- to four-year-olds, one-year checks. They got in the covered benefits for the home health care. They got in there the hearing. That's a check. But the provisions from third stimulus that are set to expire, which they don't want to have expire, are first the child care back end. The child tax credit, front end, about $3,600. The earned income tax credit, back end for my hazard pay workers. And there you are. They want to do the Pell Grant. We just went over 550 We went over the housing. We went over the nutrition. So what are the other provisions that Bernie and co. want to add in there? Stay with me. It's coming up in the final five minutes of this video, that critical five minutes. But first, let's go over just for a second to that student loan debt forgiveness offer. There's an offer to forgive $10,000 of student loan debt. Well, the president would do it by executive order, not by recon. He previously forgave student loan debts for people who went into nonprofit sector, public sector, or became disabled after graduation. Fifth stimulus and COLA. And let me answer your questions right now. So there are two different items. First, COLA. Your benefits are going up automatically January 1 of 5.9%. First, it's automatic. Second, you don't have to do anything. Third, it's automatic. Fourth, it's automatic. <laughs> you don't have to do anything. Didn't receive the letter? Don't worry. You're not going to receive the letter. It's too late to receive the letter now. The letter means nothing. You just automatically going up 5.9%. Everyone is 5.9% January 1. Okay, so some veterans, they went up this month ahead of time. Let's turn now to Fistimus. Fistimus says, hey, COLA doesn't work, which it doesn't. We want to replace COLA with inflation starting December 2022, which is going to be 2 to 3% per year. But first, we want to raise your benefits up one time. So three lifts up in one year. Remove the asset cap, remove the income cap, and remove the marriage penalty. Let me go over some breaking news first before we go into my final five minutes. First, let's go over the great news about Omicron. Omicron was uh, initially revealed around Thanksgiving. Then over the weekend, I told you Dr. Fauci, and the president said the initial data is promising. And I said, what data? You said it would take about a month to get the data. Well, it appears that Fauci and the White House knew something we didn't know, because guess what? The data came out today. The data came out just minutes ago, and it came from the people you want to hear the data from, Pfizer. And what did they say? This was the great, incredible news that if you're double vaccinated and you have a booster shot, the booster is as effective against Omicron as it is against Delta. Wow, that is huge. So if you are not triple vaccinated, which refers to two, 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 two vaccinations and a booster, please go get triple vaccinated. What do the Pfizer delineations say? That being just double vaccinated is not as sufficient against Omicron as you would like it to be. So again, the, the, the summary is that if you're double vaccinated and boosted, uh, you are going to have as much resilience against Delta as you are against Omicron. Let me read the exact quote that came out just minutes ago. And this, of course, is from the guy you want to hear from, the head of Pfizer, his CEO, Albert Bourla. Although two doses of the vaccine may still offer protection against severe disease caused by the Omicron strain, it is clear from the preliminary data that that protection is improved with a third dose of our vaccine. There you go. What do they also talk about? They're also talking about that they believe that by the month of March, the booster that they will have in circulation will be a little bit ramped up, a little bit improved for both Omicron and Delta. So great news is that if you are triple vaccinated, as I am, since earlier this year, then your 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 new date for the triple vaccination, for the update, because every, every four to six months is March, then get ready for that great new booster then as well. Second item is the financial markets. The financial markets are awaiting a big, important day, folks, and you're going to wait for it as well. It is December 15th. On December 15th, the Federal Reserve will meet and determine whether or not to taper faster and raise interest rates sooner and have more interest rates. That is why Wall Street crashed last week. Wall Street has done well this week because of the Omicron news, but 
it's been misguided. I know it's a Santa Claus rally where stocks like to go up because of Santa Claus. That's a, a, a term that's been around for decades. But the big issue is that February is that December 15th date. So what's at issue? We're looking at potentially faster tapering and two interest rate spikes in 2022 earlier than initially thought where we thought we were only getting one. Stay with me because now that Omicron is not severe, that data, that December 15th date could be critical. And with that, let's go into my final commentary about Chuck Schumer, the situation right now and that recon and that December 15th date. A lot to talk about. First, I want to go over timeline. Do I think they're going to get it done by Christmas Eve? Absolutely not. I don't think there's enough timeline. I've already shown you that it takes about four or five days of House and Senate voting. He wants to do that voting not this week, not next week, but the week after. So do I think he can do it you know, in three days before Christmas? No, absolutely not. Now, they did do second stimulus work on the weekend after Christmas. So they could do it that weekend. And they could do it the following Monday or Tuesday. Are you getting a check before Christmas from fourth stimulus recon? Absolutely not. And no way. You're going to get money from third stimulus if you've been watching this video. Absolutely. You're going to get third stimulus money today. That's how I prepare you ahead of time. Next, the Senate parliamentarian. Am I worried about her? No. I, I really want to make clear is that Senate parliamentarian has been part of this process since July. She's been looking at drafts. She knows what the drafts are and what she's looking at is the final drafts. Number three. Over the weekend, I told you that there's a new aura in the Senate, and the new aura will be in place for the rest of the month. What is it? They're not going to have press briefings, tweets, or press conferences on the hour by the day saying, I added this provision. I hate your provision. I want it out. They're not going to do that because that's what they think caused infighting among their Democrat caucus in previous months. So they're not going to do it. That causes a a issue for us. First, it's hard for news reporting. So I can't tell you what's happening with a particular provision on a particular day. It's also hard as a viewer because you don't know what's going on with the provision. Takeaway, we don't know exactly what is in the recon until the 11th hour. We will not know what's in the recon until the 11th hour, which brings me now back to focusing. I'm so excited about how well you have done with this channel in the year 2021. In 2021, I taught you since the beginning of the year, never to be focused on tracking a check, but to be cashing as many checks in your hand as possible at any moment. It's what we talk about financial independence. And I'm really excited about all these viewers who have cashed these thousands of dollars this week and if you haven't, you need to do the same as well. When we look at this four stimulus recall, there should be only one mindset in your mind, and that is cash, lots of it, and fast. I mean, that's all it is. Cash in your hand and lots of it. You categorically should not care what the cash is called. <laughs> if it's cash, why do you care what it's called? Cash in your hand is king. And over the last year, you have learned really well. I go back to that Johnny example. Johnny could have stopped on that Wednesday with 45000 45000 a lot of money. He could have stopped at 45000 He didn't. He said, no, I'm going to get as much cash as I can get in my hand. I'm not going to settle with just one item of cash. I want to get as much cash. And he got 80000 It's much like how I taught you back in December 2020. There will be a $1,400 stimulus check in the third stimulus recon. I said, elsewhere, people are going to only focus on a $1,400 stimulus check, cash it, run through the money, and then ask, where's the next check? I said, we're not going to do this on the channel. I'm going to show you under third stimulus how to get lots of money under third stimulus. And you did. The average of this channel got a lot of money under third stimulus. I showed you this last week how to get your bills paid. As we look at four stimulus recon, there is already, and there will stay in there, in the Senate, Lots of checks, at least $15,000. It's going to be the biggest payday of your day. If we can get more checks in there, that's even better. That is even better. But never look at $15,000, 30000 40000 55000 Say, I don't want it because I want the other thing that's called something else. No, no, no. You want cash. You want big sums of cash. And for all those viewers who understood the importance of getting cash in their hands 
this week and last week from the Lynn Glenn or the Tyrell or or the people in the live chats or or uh, all these incredible people sending me or Chef John Mayer understanding that every twenty five hundred dollars every three thousand every five hundred every nine hundred dollars makes a difference. You have listened really well. For viewers back in September who heard me say, I can get you holiday gifts, go get them right now, and got them in September, good. For people in October, I said, I can get you holiday meals in October, go get them now because I'm going to run out, good. You prepared ahead of time across the board. I'm very, very excited for you with this recon. One, I believe it's going to pass. Two, I believe it's going to pass in December. Three, I don't believe it's going to pass before Christmas. Four, I believe a lot of you who have gotten three items this week from third stimulus can still get more items because i'm seeing some of the water and electric <laughs> and unless you live in an unusual home i know you got one or more utilities than that i know you have another utility company so i know you can still get another 600 900 800 dollars remember every cash is king so if you're watching this video turn your wife or your your partner or your dog or cat if you're single say uh honey or or fido I think I didn't get the water bill paid yet. I think I can get that water bill pay paid because of third stimulus. Go do it. Go do it today. Get every single check you can get paid. Meantime, did you miss the excitement last night? Wow. This channel has a revamped programming lineup at, on the evenings. 5 o'clock is evenings at light, of course, and at 6 o'clock is evenings countdown, which you love. But 7 o'clock now features a revamped street and stimulus called Holidays Street and Stimulus for this holiday season. It features an encore show of holidays at every night at 7 o'clock. And then at 8 o'clock is the new show, Calcino, which debuted last night. Last night, we saw the universe of Sirloin, Javita Light, and Blaine 66 dissect and intersect. And we got to learn where does Blaine 66 work now. He works at Mitch McConnell's office. And yesterday, he received a call of advocacy, not from the Purple Power, but for Mitch McConnell, for recurring lobster provisions. The Let's bird see bath will wash the lobsters away because birds eat lobsters. <laughs> you know that, right? You don't. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> the center part of material, she's doing a bird bath. And the bird bath removes the provisions from the recon. And if you have a provision in there that violates it, like a lobster provision, the birds come and eat it. <laughs> At least that's what I've been told. I mean, I like to eat. Can you hurry up? I'm about to eat my lunch. But, you know, um, so you want <laughs> lobsters in the recon. Um, do you want a side of sauce with that? <laughs> and that was Blaine Six Six last night. Uh, he has something to say about everything. Uh, and, and, and when he's not choking on his food, he's even better. Meantime, coming up next is Morning's Crypto Live on Air. I am back with you a special in Encore edition, a special live edition of Morning's Crypto. It's just in about five minutes. What's going off crypto now that stocks are rebounding? Could crypto rebound? Join me with that show. And then we go back with Holidays Ally at 11 a.m. today. And with that, subscribe. Go under this video right now and hit that subscribe button. I'll like the video, two, three thousand likes, and consider becoming a member to get that incredible newsletter across the board. Join me next on Morning's Crypto in just two minutes. And then at 11 a.m., join me with Holidays Ally. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful day. Stay informed, keep advocating, keep pushing, and stay with Ally for more as a morning continues.